Okay. Yeah. external layer or yeah, yeah I guess just connected with this, yeah. okay yeah because then this like makes the outer border of the thing because then I, yeah because I erased the uh, this is external yeah, join down at the totally a wrench goes through a loop for some reason. Just like that. Yep. There we go. Internal bleeding, mister. There we go. Yeah! I think I, I think I have to gain by yeah, doing that and then erasure for yeah, just leave that part out. There, that's a much more uh, again with the this is what happens when you live on a main street and Chicago. Yeah. Yay! It's coming together. I don't think we'll add any more body segments, but spend this like third part just as like the refinement stage. Just kind of squeeze in the. There we go. Oh, that didn't fuck up the... Yeah, okay, good. It didn't. Uh, strange things can happen with resolutions. Okay, so... Alright, yeah, you need kind of just a excretory system, don't you? Alright, let's make use of this little donut hole here. Where would this... I guess it kind of comes to a head right in this area. Right around here. So... I can't be sure whether or not... Yeah, I guess my mouse does not show up. So I guess I've done absolutely nothing to point things out in retrospect. Yeah, I mean like this area right here. Crap. Uh, realizing that in retrospect, I forgot to turn mouse capture on. It is unfortunate. Alright. Could have swore I did. Alright. Oh no, that was on the previous scene set. Whatever. It's boring. Um... This is kind of just the epicenter of the... Yeah, this spot right here is sort of the epicenter of... No, because then it wouldn't go through here. Would it? Yeah, where to go with this? Okay. Well, there's space down here, so if I just want to make optimal use of the space I've allocated, let's just go for this region. And just, yeah, gravity, so. Yeah. Just kind of more 
large, I guess like the majority of the bodies turned out like this Super Saiyan hair color. That way... Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see what I'd do with this. Just add some, like, egg sacs, I guess, is what these are. Like, some kind of, like, pod... It's like, uh, if you see one of those horrible, disgusting frogs that uh, have the tadpoles that grow in, like, the mother carries them in her back. It's kind of like that. Like, they hatch out of her back, and it's just the most horrifying, disgusting thing you will see. I really recommend not looking them up. It's kind of, yeah, it's like, uh... got the Majora's Mask music, so I guess it's kind of like the... One of those, I have no idea what this is, it could be like a bunch of little split off things that buzz, I guess this is just some kind of spore pod thing maybe. Alright, well, either way, flesh is flesh, so that takes a body mass one way or the other, and then I can get this external so I can just make a poop shoot. You have a vague, you have a pretty good butt shape to you right here, so let's funnel out of you. And I guess, like, you know, with all these things, they could just be like, no, I know they are, they're like a cardiac, repurposed cardiac muscle. And what they do is squeeze inward, so this is just like a compression bladder, basically. It creates this large internal squeeze that forces all the crap out of its body, literally. And it uses that from this prehensile, somewhat tentacle-like appendage as a means of defense, kind of like how a squid and its ink, well, yeah, it's kind of like squid ink. I could probably give it like a, uh, yeah, that's what this will be right here, that's what I could use this space for, that'll be like a uh, ink production, yeah. something that introduces like color, like ink to the thing just to give it more utility. Uh, so can't use, I, I dislike using flat black colors in anything but lines, so it'd be good for a, I guess, I guess it's paid for a reason. No, it's just it's cardiac tissue. Uh, let's get that uh, mucus shit. No. Can't be mucus either because that's the skin tone. That makes no sense. What color am I not using here? <clears throat> I haven't used the light blue yet. If I use a non-disgusting green and a more saturated yellow, it may, it may just orange now. Yeah. All right. So I guess light blue it is. And the, I guess it wouldn't actually. No. What am I saying? This aqua color is too close to light. Yeah. I guess I've used all the colors. So. Hmm. This is brown. Yeah. Fill that up. And it uh, goes from that into this space right here. That's like kind of like the refinement where it all gets mixed together. Like, yeah, because like, it goes through the. Uh, that's. It curves around that organ. So this would connect to. Yeah, it just distills the body's chemicals together. Like, it's got kind of a Bunsen burner thing. 
can take directly from the stomach contents, I think. Like, yeah, the distilled, yeah, the, just this pre-digested mush. Yeah, the kind. Dragon Dark. There! Um, where did, yeah, let's just disconnect from you. Reconnect over here. Here we go! Stuff goes into there. Christ Almighty! Just looking at the. And this is yeah. These are all thirty-minute segments. I'm well over just like probably an hour and ten minutes into this. Yeah, just hour and ten minutes or so. Comes poo-ish, or I guess yeah, it gets mixed with ink. Whatever. Let's fill in that little pixel there. I hate those little white pixels that tend to accumulate. Then, like, yeah, we've got this like, kind of nozzle apparatus. It's got uh, kind of a. Yeah, it's got kind of a. Yeah. It's not quite nozzle y. No, oh. Uh, no, that, this could be like kind of a. A pincer like apparatus that adjusts whether it's a wide or narrow output, I suppose. And then, whoop. Uh, I guess I can't draw for shit. What are you talking about? Good nozzle and squeeze or pincer thing. This, this would be like kind of a highly dense vascular tissue. I don't know, the whole thing would be. But no, that's. Yeah, I guess, because yeah, this is the external bit. And then. Hmm. Nozzle. I guess be kind of fleshy on the inside, and then perimeter ring of. I guess like this green tissue is not just like a barrier, but it also has a lot of the immune system because like this area right here, where it's like it's not only an orifice, but it's also like spurting what could be undigested nutrients through it. So, yeah, this is a place that can get infected very easily. So yeah. The, Lip of the nozzle is probably this like highly dense uh, leukocyte rich tissue. Just imply a bit of goes deeper in. There we go. That's a little too wide out. Better. Better. The other way, actually. It feels like that. Oh, that's yeah. That's how it works. Death. I have no death. I am a shallow person. There. Yeah, that's how it goes. Finally, I think it's finally coming together. This thing. That's a good look at the hole. Yay! Okay. Uh, locomotion. 
Uh, I guess, it, yeah, it just pulls itself on its single... Or maybe it's an aquatic organism. Yes, yeah, kind of the feel of an aquatic organism. Yeah, let's go with that theory. Tentacles to fit a marine environment. Okay. Let's turn this testicle chin into more of a... It's like when a frog croaks, but it's also like uh, an air bladder. It could be just... Air could be just inhaled or exhaled, and it just... Yeah, it's kind of like this valve structure to the interior. Okay. Yeah, kind of like this. There we go. Helps it kind of stand out. Let's see which end is which. Okay. And this is where the air sac goes. Divide it into two chambers because it's yeah. Divide it into two chambers because it's got uh, kind of gives more control that way. There we go. This is the air bladder. The flotation, kind of like a, when a frog croaks. Puffs up really wide, or oh, kind of like a puffer fish too, I guess. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that analogy. It's got the toxic spikes. Not very spiky, they're more like fingers at that point. It's more like this kind of thing. Yeah, these kind of like raggedy, fangy protrusions that I'm known for. I say known for as if it's like. Oh yes, we have vintage EPM art in this gallery. All art critics are French, what are you talking about? God damn, this is horrifying. Okay. fits that way, maybe just because it's just this artificial, like, non-living tissue. It's like keratin in your head and nails and your hair and nails and also your tendons. It's just non-living tissue. But, no, probably more like teeth or bone where it's got like some internal, like, lattice structure that is living. a beard too. Uh, definitely running out of steam, so let's see how much time have I got left. This might be a good time to start wrapping. Yeah, I've got like 10 more minutes, so. What's with the song? I mean, I, nothing says I have to go to the very end, so. Yeah, close in the. There's white space. There we go. It's almost a good, even 500 by 500. It's 506 by 508. Uh, locomotion, right. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of... I guess if it's got the ink squirter and the... I guess it kind of has, like, ports on its... Uh, it's kind of got various means. It's got the... Eye... Let me just give it... Uh, should, Eyes and locomotion should be tied together, but it's got the R and uh, kind of. It's, yeah, it's got these. It's got these kind of like scuttle things for the ground. It's got the tentacle appendage that can help pull it around with the arms. Yeah, it's kind of two locomotive appendages and then a bunch of little skittery things on the bottom. It's got all these. Yeah, because. Oh, yeah, if I. It's got all this like pressure bladder stuff, then. 
it can also just squirt out as it goes. Yeah, it moves by like kind of a jet propulsion thing. It looks like a squid. Yeah, it's a very cephalopodian anatomy here. Like this, you can kind of see this being like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like a snail with this setup originally. But you could just put like a giant shell over this segment and be very like some kind of missing link. Well, not really missing link, but it's just kind of like. It's somewhere between a nautilus, a squid, and a garden snail, and land hikari. Uh, no, that's... There, and there, and there, yeah! Let's see here. Yeah, like the same thing as the primary nozzle. They might be like capped off. Yeah, I get it, because these are like valves, and when it doesn't need to just excrete one solid jet of uh, material, it could just pump water in and out using these valves that kind of open and close. Works. Whoa! No, no, no. There we go. Perfect. Yeah! I'd say almost done, like 95% done. What's missing? Is there anything missing? I don't think there is! Yeah, I don't... I, nothing comes to mind in terms of adding to this. Let's... Behold this creation. This is the... Oh god, it's only that big. Yeah, this is the 100% scale size. So yeah, it's just all drawn at that. So, there we go! Let's, uh... That's that then.